tutorial we're looking at how to attach props and special effects to gestures in the Space Virtual World platform. Uh, you need to have Unity 3D installed, uh, you need to have registered at curator.sign.space and you need to have imported the Space Editor Pack to your uh, Unity project to follow this tutorial. You probably also uh, need to have uh, watched some of the other gesture uh, tutorials because I'm uh, only focusing here on uh, the additional components uh, for uh, props. So the gesture I'm going to use is uh, one I already used in the tutorial on creating two-person gestures. It's called Hey There, uh, which I'll just press play. Uh, it's uh, a greeting. It's a, an, an homage to uh, an old uh, movie from the 1990s. Uh, called The Matrix, in which they shoot each other and then dodge the bullets in slow motion. So for this tutorial, I'm going to add those uh, bullets and some uh, visual effects. So I've already got those created as objects uh, here. Uh, I've got gun and gun two. Uh, the guns are actually empty. Uh, ju I just created empty objects. Um, and then I childed to them another object which I've called bullet, but that is a particle emitter. I'm not going to go into huge detail about Unity's particle system, uh, but this is emitting an individual uh, single mesh uh, as a particle. Uh, you can see uh, that, that mesh, uh, I have a prefab here, it's a sort of missile looking thing, I'm not sure which one of these it is. Uh, uh, obviously your um, Prop uh, it can be anything. It can be a sword. Uh, it can be a top hat. Uh, it could be a table appearing between them. Uh, but in this instance, I happen to be using a particle emitter. Um, the only reason I've got it um, childed to the to the um, empty uh, object that I've called gun here is because I need to be able to offset the orientation. Uh, uh, you can see the, the bullet here is orientated 90 degrees on the gun. Uh, allows me to make sure it's um, traveling in the right direction when it's attached to the user's hand. Uh, so basically it's a particle emitter that I'm, that I'm using, but as, as I say, the prop can be anything you want it to be. So if I go to the Hey There object, uh, these scripting components you'll be familiar with if you've followed the multi-person and camera uh, tutorials. Um, we've got the uh, camera here we saw panning around the players. Uh, these are the two um, animations. Uh, I've got a virtual good script. Now you can see I have already submitted this version uh, called Hey There. Um, it has an ID number here and it's in the store. So now that I'm going to duplicate it, um, so I'm going to give it a new name here, Hey There FX. Uh, if I can type correctly. There we are, hey there FX. And I'm going to drag that newly named uh, object into my folder here. Uh, so I've got a new item in the project. Uh, and now I uh, can clear the ID on the new duplicate and give it a different product name. This is the name that the server registers, uh, hey there FX. Uh, so this is the, that's what you need to do if you're duplicating something that's already been submitted to avoid writing over your original. This is a, a new product that I can submit. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to add uh, three uh, components, uh, all, all of which are in the um, avatar effects uh, folder in the component folder. And uh, so I'm going to add the create object attach script, uh, and I'm going to add two of those, one for each character. So I now have two identical scripts, and I'm going to attach these uh, guns to each. So I'm setting one um, to the receiver, the guest, uh, and one is the initiator, the two people doing the gesture. And uh, I'm going to drag guns onto one. The reason I've got gun one and gun two is just because the offset had to be 180 different uh, between the two. The particle system didn't register the, the, that the bullet needed to face in a different direction. So they're identical uh, in fact apart from the orientation. Um, 
so I've attached those and uh, I've already checked the start time when I want them to appear is 5.1 seconds in. I'll run it through to the end. So I'm going to set the same time uh, for each uh, there. And by default, it attaches them to the hips. Now, um, if I want to remove it from the body completely, uh, I can tick place it at origin. If it's a furniture item, a static object, uh, if I want to um, uh, a chair or a table, maybe you want somebody to run into a brick wall or uh, you can have them, uh, you can do the classic uh, slapstick comedy uh, of standing on a garden rake and getting hit on the nose. Uh, an object that's in the scene rather than attached to the user. Click place at origin. Uh, that will put it at zero, zero, zero of where the avatar is when they spawn the gesture. If you want to offset it from there, do the same thing I did with the gun, which is you create an empty object. That'll be at zero, zero, zero. And then the child object, which is the visible object, um, uh, you can manually offset. Uh, so, uh, But these I'm putting in the right hand of each of the two um, uh, uh, participants. And now if I press play... Uh, we can see uh, that the uh, particles, um, there's a flash, and then the bullets uh, slowly uh, fly past and explode away. So that just shows how a prop is attached. I'm going to add one more. There are a number of other sort of specialist components you can add to a gesture. For instance, you can add audio. Uh, so you add the play audio component, uh, same trigger time, 5.1, I can have like a sound of a bullet firing or whatever. I don't happen to have one in my project, uh, but um, uh, that's uh, simple enough. Um, uh, what I have created is a color filter. So I'm going to add a LUT, a lookup table. Um, and here you can see this is a, um, a very specific PNG file that's uh, in this case going to apply a green uh, tint, which is again is a reference to that old uh, movie. And so I'm going to grab that in here. I'm going to give it the same start time of 5.1. I'll run it through to the end. And um, uh, generally speaking, what we try to achieve with uh, the space virtual world is a WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get uh, environment, so that everything you see in the editor is the same as what you see in the uh, uh, in world. Uh, but unfortunately, color filters is one thing that doesn't uh, uh, play in the editor yet. Um, uh, but it will play in the... Uh, uh, in world, uh, so I'm going to come to the virtual goods script here. I'm just going. I've already changed the product name. Uh, I'm just going to swap out the uh, logos, uh, so it's demonstrably different in world. Um, nothing else needs changing. I've added these three additional uh, components. Uh, again, the um, as with other tutorials, the submit button is grey because I'm using the version in the scene. Uh, so I need to scroll to the top of the inspector window here on the right hand side and click apply uh, to push those changes uh, into the version that I created um, uh, in the project. Now all those changes are visible there and the uh, submit button is uh, available. So I click to submit and now in world, uh, you can see I can launch it and invite uh, somebody else to participate. And uh, again, as with the other two-person gesture, uh, every component of this, the bullets, the camera path, the two gestures, and the uh, appearance of the LUT uh, will all be synchronized on the desktop uh, of the people watching uh, this uh, sort of coordinated uh, little show. Mm -hmm.